What's your favorite scary movie? The Dirty Panties. Hmm, never heard of that. What's your description of it? I'm not saying. Speaking of playing, you want to play a game? What kind of game? You know, the kind of game where I kind of test you out. Be more specific, because I've been tested in many games. Who is the slasher in A Nightmare on Elm Street? Michael Myers? Wrong! <laughs> Let's make this fun, though. Come look for me. I don't want to look for you. Come look for me or you will die! Ah, oh, picking up! Hello? Did you just hang up on me? No. If you do not find me, you and every bit of your family are going to die tonight. So get your ass up and look for me in this very room. Get closer. And closer. And closer. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. Hello, everybody. This is 22 Tiger Dude and this ghost face costume. I am here with Serrano Reyes J. And the two of us are both here to review Scream. Uh. Directed by Wes Craven. So, thank you so much for being here, Serrano Reyes J. No problem. So, Serrano Reyes J, what is Scream about? These two high school students that would be cool and awesome to be the actual serial killers that they based it off from a movie they had watched and took notes from. I thought it would be cool and get the thrill out of it so they can get that huge pumped out of so that extreme life they want. They thought it would probably be cool to do it even though it's not really cool to do being a serial killer or whatever for on the month of October or several weeks before Halloween. My thoughts on Scream is that it's a fun movie. I like this movie. It's definitely a perfect time to watch, especially during around the Halloween season. Yeah. And um, it's also a very clever movie because of the fact that it actually pokes fun of what horror movies are. This movie really does actually tell you the rules of horror movies, what you could predict. This movie pretty much embraces the silliness and the movie does use the cliches but it uses the cliches to fit like the overall story of what it's all about and that's why I personally really enjoyed Scream. Mm -hmm. And I, for me I enjoyed it because you know you get a good laugh because you know what well, most guys uh, say on there for good humor. Even though it's not real but most of the time you can get it if you understand the whole entire movie. That's true. I like the whole ghost face thing, how they're, they're trying to investigate like these killers that have like all these costumes. Yeah. I actually thought that was pretty interesting for the film to actually go through that. Mm -hmm. They thought it was actually one but it's pretty much basically two but they thought the whole county thought it was just one serial killer with a messed up head. Yeah, yeah. I also thought the acting was not too bad. Like, you know, it's not your Oscar-worthy acting or anything. But, I mean, it's a horror movie that makes fun of horror movies. Yeah. So, it's a horror comedy. And I thought the actors, you know, they did a pretty decent job. And Courtney Cox, she who plays this news reporter, I thought she did a good job with the role. Yeah, even though she looked young in this first <laughs> one. Well, of course, it's a 1996 movie, dude. What do you expect? She was good in the movie. Darn. And, she, and she plays a news reporter where all she cares about is just getting the news. But she does do a nice job with the role. And this movie does have a lot of cheesy moments. It has a lot of cheesy lines. Yeah. But they use those moments and lines to, like as I said, fit the overall storyline because this movie knows what it wants to be. And really entertaining and we just want to watch it with friends. Yeah, exactly. Like, me and you had fun, we laughed watching the movie, <laughs> and we even both agreed how the movie really does speak the truth about horror films in general. Pretty much. I thought Wes Craven, the way he directed Scream, he did a very good job with it. Same. It wasn't rushed, you know, he took the time to do 
from point A to point B. Yeah, that's true. I guess if I have to just really say my biggest complaint with this movie, it does feel like it's beating you over the head with the fact that they're making fun of horror movies. It's all like, after a while, you're kind of like, okay, we get it. But overall, I did like Scream. It's a fun movie, especially around this time. Like what Sarah J pointed out, you could watch this with your friends, have fun with it, get good laughs. And of course, it's fun to see Ghostface as well. I'm going to give Scream three out of four stars. You're not gonna give it a burrito? No. Darn it. I'll give it a four out of five. Nice. Cause, you know, it's an old classic 90s movies that you can enjoy and laugh in here and there. Yeah, it's definitely a very cheesy flick, but you could just sit down and have fun with it. Yeah, like eating a burrito. I don't know about that, but you get the whole point. Thank you, Saran Reyes J, for oh, guest starring. No problem. What's your favorite scary movie? Don't make me kill you, motherfuckers! Or, I'm just kidding. Or but... favorite burrito. Just kidding. <laughs> Enough with the burritos. I love burritos. <laughs>